Alrighty guys, I need you to picture this. Imagine you go to the gym every single day. You are busting butt in the gym. You're going hard, you're lifting weights, you're doing your cardio, but the body doesn't change. You feel like you should be getting lean, you feel like you should be losing weight, but the body isn't changing. Well, it's likely because you're not in a caloric deficit. Yes, the holy grail of losing weight, the holy grail of getting lean, and one of the most important things that you need to know is how to fuel your body in order to get towards your goal, whatever that is, whether it's losing weight, whether it's gaining weight, whether it's maintaining weight. And we need to view our calories like we view our finances. If you wanna be financially savvy, you track every single penny. The same thing is true with your caloric intake. In order for you to absolutely know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, where you're going in your fitness, you need to be able, you need to be an informed consumer, literally, of the food that you're putting into your body. Now, most people do not wanna do this. Most people do not wanna put in that work, and that's why I see a lot of people struggle with their weight. They think. They think that they should be losing weight based on the work that they're putting in and the foods that they're putting into their body. They think they should be losing weight. Losing weight is a mathematical equation. Losing weight is a mathematical equation. There is a number for you. There's a number out there for you that if you ate every single day, you'd maintain weight. That's called your maintenance. Let's say it's 1,700. For you, it's 1,700. You, if you ate 1,700 every single day with your activity level, you would maintain your current weight. If you ate 1,900, 2,000, 2,200 consistently every single day over time, you'd gain weight. And the deficit right? Whether it's 100, whether it's 200, whether it's 400 calories. If you ate under 1,700 calories every single day and you kept your workouts and your work level and your activity level at the same pace, you lose weight. A lot of people just don't know that. A lot of people don't know that it's that simple. Here's what you need to do. Download my fitness pal. Maybe you have it. Maybe you use it from time to time. Download my fitness pal. Start to take inventory of every single item of food that you put into your body. Put in your weight, put in your goal weight. It's gonna create, based on your activity level, a formula of how many calories you need to be eating every day. And then fall in alignment with that. Track your food, be disciplined to this. It's annoying at first, but it's actually really cool because it reveals to you the reality of where you're at in your fitness, where you're at with your health, where you're at with your consumption. I've been training for almost six years now and it's very evident that the most successful people who have trained with me have been those who have tracked their food, who have quantified their progress and their process of fitness. You have to quantify things, right? You have to know. And if you don't know what you're bringing in, you can never be frustrated on why you don't have the results that you would like to have. If you want to be somewhere you've never been before, you have to do things you haven't done. We know this. So look, the caloric deficit's really important in weight loss. It's the most important thing to weight loss. And it, it hurts me as a trainer to see people who are busting their butt and they're going hard, but they're not seeing the fruits of their labor and their physical appearance because they don't have their diet dialed in. So I hope this is helpful for you. I hope that you can find that sweet spot of caloric intake and become aware of what that is so that when you have a trend, right, when you know what you're hitting day in and day out, you can see how that's affecting your body, you can see how that's affecting your energy, and then you can make the necessary modifications in order to maybe put on a little bit of weight, maybe stay right where you're at for a little bit of time, or maybe lose some weight. I hope that gives a little bit of insight into what you need to do in order to achieve your dream physique and your goal body.